the cycads. And the first line here is a cross section through a root. I know we don't do anatomy yet, not until Friday, but this is the interesting stuff right here. <coughs> Yeah, it's uh, the tubercles. The little round green things is uh, either anabina or nostoc. A blue green algae lives in there. Number two is a stem. I know we didn't do anatomy yet, but this is sometimes called manoxylic because it has lots of soft parenchyma cells and very few wood cells. Here's the wood cells stained red. And so they call it manoxylic. So you wouldn't want to build things out of cycad wood. Not very good. Okay, it would rot quite quickly. Number three, uh, these are the pollen grains. Inside the microsporangia, there's a microsporophyll, and lots of mucilage ducts, both here and in ginkgo. A lot of mucilage ducts, you'll see them. Big open spaces, but there's the pollen grains, ready to be shed, little microgametophytes. And number four is an ovule. So notice how thick the integument is airspace, and then this must be nucellus. I pull that up, integument, nucellus, this is female gametophyte. Okay? Uh, I don't see any arachnidonia. There we go. Uh, there's, see how big the egg is? Oh my god. Okay? There's a couple arachnidonia with two eggs. And yours might be staining this color. Or it might be very dense like that. Maybe that's after fertilization. All right, number five, all this squiggly stuff is what? Suspensor, right? And it's on a pro-embryo. And there's the tip, the growing pro-embryonic cap, okay? Number six is the mature embryo. It's huge. Notice the mucilage ducts? That's the radical, okay? All right, now let's get into the ginkopita. This is a cross-section of a leaf. Notice the mucilage duct? I know we didn't do anatomy yet, but you might see a, a waxy layer on top of the leaf. See the line? Or on the bottom, too. That's called a cuticle. All right, now number eight is the ginkgo stem. It's kind of like pine and flowering plant wood. Uh, this, these are wood cells, tough cells. And so you have very little parenchyma and a lot of wood. That's called pycnoxylic wood, right? So manoxylic is the soft stuff and cycads, everything else is pycnoxylic. Okay, number nine, here's the ginkgo catkin-like thingies, microsporophylls, microsporangia, and what's inside? Pollen grains. Not terrible, a lot of detail to see there, but there they are, the pollen grains ready to be shed, little microgametophytes. Uh, now, number 10 is a good slot. Yours might be pink or green, but it's the peduncle and the ovule, and you can actually see the micropile on these slides. One of the few choices or slides you have in the whole course to see a micropile. Mucilage duct once again. Or yours might be staying green. See the micropile? Okay. There's the opening for the integument. All right, this is very, very light. What the heck is this? Okay, this is number 11. This is the archegonium with the egg uh, smaller than a cycad. See the mucilage duct even in an egg. Okay, mucilage duct. Here it might be stained this color. Maybe it's after fertilization. I don't know why it's stained a different color. And this is uh, definitely number 12. They go through a free nuclear. You might say, well, what do you mean free nuclear? Well, it, it's a pro-embryo, but there are several nuclei without walls. So they call it a a free nuclear stage. And then, there we go. That's a good one. See all the nuclei? The dark dots are the nucleoli, actually. That's called the free nuclear stage. And then 13 is the young embryo. Ginkgo is dicotyledonous. One, two, there's a stem tip. And we follow it down hypocotyl. And then, what's going through the micropile here? The radical, right? Radical, hypocotyl. There we go. Yours might be stained like this. Cotyledon, cotyledon, stem tip, hypo. Cotyledon, cotyledon. Cotyledon, cotyledon. Some young leaves are starting here, huh? Stem tip, hypocotyl. All right, there's a ginkgo tree at the Morton Arboretum. 
kind of washed out here with all this light. And you can see the fan-shaped leaves. Okay, we have some over on the front table here too that are better than that picture. All right, let's get into the coniferophyta, or as your book says, that's still out of focus. Your book calls it what? The pinophyta. But I don't care what you call it, as long as you have the common name as what? Conifers. Don't say pines. All right. So this is number fourteen. This is like about in early May. There's the pollen grains, and they got the Mickey Mouse ears. See? See that? So these are microgametophytes. What's another word for microgametophyte? Male gametophyte. What's another word? Pollen. You might see two nuclei in there. A tube nucleus and a generative nucleus. That'll give rise to two sperm. That's a pretty good slide. I like that one. Number 15. Now, number 15 is going to be about 20 ovules. How many are going to be good? I'll tell you right now. One. So you're going to have to hunt down the right side of the cone and then hunt down the left side of the cone. How do I know that's good? Well, because I know what I'm looking for. Uh, first of all, that's a brat. That's the what? Obliferous scale. Since we're in the conifers, these aren't mucilage ducts. They're, what do you get from pine trees? <sighs> Anybody have to clean paintbrushes? Well, you guys got it easy. You guys clean your paintbrushes out in tap water with all the damn latex paint. In the old days, you had to use turpentine. Turpentine comes from what? Pine, resin, resin. They collect it, they, they strip the bark and they collect the uh, turpentine. So, uh, obelifer scale, bract, ovule. And inside, well, I can't see it from here. All right, now I can see it, that's 10x power. See that cell? See how bigger, much bigger it is? That's the mega, Sporocyte. That's what I want you to find. Megasporocyte. And 10x power is peachy. Uh, if you want 40, there it is. But, you know, you're not going to see much detail. It's just that it's bigger than the surrounding cell. That's the megasporocyte. Alrighty, what's number 16? Pro embryo. Pro? Where? I don't see it. You're right, I don't either. That's the integument. Nucellus. Female. Pull it up. Integument, nucellus. I didn't pull it up very much. Pull it up more. Nu integument, nucellus, rip. Female. Pull it up. All right, female. You go, well, ripped archegonial remains. Well, the suspensors are pushing the proembryo down about where the floor is. So pull this up. And now you see it. See the ripped archegonial remains? Follow, 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 follow. Pro-embryo. Boy, that's not very big. How about 10x? Okay. Pro-embryo. Not very big, is it? Pro-embryo embedded in female. 40x power. Pro-embryo. Okay. Now, let's look at number 17. There's no integument. There's no new cells. They're all gone. So this is female gametophyte. What's all the yellow stringy stuff? Later. Suspensor. There's one proembryo. Two, three. The record is four. Someone found four on the slide once. Here you can plainly see one, two. Two proembryos. This pine, well, conifers. Conifers are polyembryonic, right? There you go. There's the growing tip or cap of the proembryo and stringy, stringy suspensors. Okay, this last slide, that is 4X, sorry. It's so damn big, you can't get it on a whole slide. You won't even see a radical. It's cut off. But you might say, well, why are you showing this? One, two, three, four, five. So there's at least five. Actually, there's like eight to twelve. Pine is poly. Cotyledonous, right? You have more than one cotyledon. That's the hypercotyledon. Just hold the slide up to the light, you know. You don't need a microscope. It's so big. Uh, on the front desk, we have some cones. This is Pinus jeffreyi, growing in Oregon mountains. Ovalifer uh, scale. The seeds are gone, you know, but there used to be two per scale. There's the seeds. We've got some petri dishes, I'll show you, with, with the seeds, with the wing. And there I am with my finger holding my Canon camera, trying to hold it still and flicking it.